Hi everyone, this is Oscar from ACE and in today's video we are going to dive into the world of SCADA system, specifically focus on SciTech SCADA. We will be exploring how to master remote alerting, which is crucial aspect of managing and monitoring your industrial processes. So whether you are a seasoned SCADA professional or just starting out, Stay tuned because we got some valuable insight coming your way. Let's get started. Before we delve into remote alerting, let's take a moment to understand what is SciTech SCADA. SciTech SCADA is a powerful supervisory control and data acquisition system that will allow you to monitor, control, and optimize industrial processes. And this is widely used across various industries including manufacturing, energy, or utilities. Why remote alerting is so important in the world of SCADA? Well, if you imagine you are managing a complex industrial processes and something goes wrong around midnight or during the weekend, without remote alerting, you might not even know about it until it's too late. That's where SciTech SCADA comes in handy. Now, let's dive into the practical aspect of mastering remote alerting in SciTech SCADA. The first step is setting out your system for remote alerting. Here are a few key steps. The first thing will be configure alarm triggers. That basically means that you will have to define the condition that will trigger the alert. That could be threshold, deviation, or any specific event that within your industrial process. After that, you will need to choose the notification method. So SciTech SCADA, they offer various kinds of notification methods that includes email, SMS, or push notification. So you can choose the one that will suit your need the most. The third step will be define the recipients. So you need to specify who should receive those alerts. So this could be maintenance personnel, supervisors, or anyone who should be responsible for addressing the issue. You should also set the priority level for each of the alerts. So you can classify the alerts based on their severity. For example, the critical alarm should be addressed immediately, while the less severe one can be weighed. Finally, you have to do a test for your alerting system. Before it goes live, it is essential for you to test the alerting system to ensure that it is working as expected. Once your remote alerting system is up and running, it is time for you to monitor and respond to the alerts. Here's what you need to do. You will need to do continuous monitoring. This can be done by regularly check the status of your industrial process. And SciTest Scala provide real-time data that allows you to spot the issue as they happen. You will also need to take immediate response by acting promptly when an alert is triggered. This might involve remotely controlling equipment, adjust setting, and notify the on-site personnel. Finally, you will need documentation to keep records of all of the alerts and responses. This documentation is invaluable for analyzing the trends and also improving your industrial process. Remote alerting in SciTech SCADA also raises questions about security. Here are some essential security measures to consider. You will need to make sure you have secure remote access. That means you will need to ensure that the remote access to your SCADA system is secure. You can do that by using the VPN, firewalls, or any strong authentication method to protect against any unauthorized access. Apart from that, you also need regular updates for your system. Keep your site at SCADA software and security protocols up to date to defend against any potential vulnerabilities. Finally, you will need to provide proper user training. Train your staff on security best practices. Make sure they understand the risks associated with remote access and how to mitigate them. And there you have it. Mastering SciTech SCADA for remote alerting is all about setting out a robust system, monitoring it diligently, and ensuring the highest level of security. With all these practices in place, you can take control of your industrial process, even from a remote location. Thank you for joining us today. If you found our video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to your colleague. Also, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future video, please leave a comment below and I will see you next time.